Hi everyone, welcome to MR Learning Circle. I hope you all are fit and fine, doing good in your lives. So this is the first lecture of our MCQ series, and in this I would be covering. There would be a total of thirty six video lectures, and in that I would be covering the complete microbiology syllabus of your gate exam. So this is the first video, and this. in this video i am going to cover the historical perspectives so the first question is from the topic discovery of the microbial world so the question says here the discovery of microorganism was first reported by antony von leeuwenhoek using a simple microscope which of the following statement about this observation is most accurate so you can go through the options so option a is he observed only bacteria in pond water option b is his lenses could magnify up to 3000 times allowing him to visualize protozoa and bacteria option c says he proposed that microorganism cause disease and option d says his observation were later supported by louis pasteur in the same century so the correct answer for this question is option b option b is the correct answer because leeuwenhoek simple microscope it achieved up to 3000 times magnification he observed bacteria protozoa and sperm cells and he did not propose the germ theory okay so that is for your now we have question number 2 which of the following experiments most directly refuted the theory of spontaneous generation so option a is leeuwenhoek's observation of animal cules option b is pasteur swan neck flask experiment option c is jenner's smallpox vaccination and option d is koch postulate so your correct answer for question number 2 is option b pasteur's swan neck experiment and this is because pasteur experiment proved that sterilized broth in swan neck flask it remained free from microorganism unless exposed to air containing dust and microbes so that was your second question now we have next discovery uh, sorry question number 3 it says that in koch postulate which of the following limitation is most relevant to modern molecular biology microbiology so option a is some pathogens cannot be cultured on artificial medium option b is pathogens always produce disease in all infected individuals option c is molecular method cannot identify virulence genes and option d is koch postulate cannot be applied to viruses so the correct answer for this question is option a because microorganisms like mycobacterium leprae and there are certain viruses also that cannot be cultured in vitro that means inside the lab or using an artificial culture medium so that's why option a is the correct answer now we have question 4 which pair is incorrectly matched regarding contribution to microbiology option a is louis pasteur fermentation and sterilization technique option b is robert koch anthrax and tuberculosis etiology option c is joseph lister's antiseptic theory and option d is ferdinand cohn discovery of penicillin so your correct answer is option d ferdinand cohn discovery of penicillin what did ferdinand cohn discovered he classified bacteria and he discovered endospores and alexander fleming was the person who discovered the penicillin now next is question number 5 here we have which of the following technique technologies most directly evolved from leeuwenhoek's work so option a is gram staining option b is differential interference contrast microscopy option c is electron microscopy and option d is phase contrast microscopy so your correct answer for this question is option d phase contrast microscopy okay now we have next question question number 6 which statement best describes the scientific shift after pasteur's experiment on fermentation so option a is it proved that fermentation is purely chemical option b says that established fermentation as biological process mediated by living cells option c is it demonstrated spontaneous generation in sealed flask and option c option d is it rejected the roles of enzymes in fermentation 
So your correct answer for this question is option B. Pasture yeast studies, it showed fermentation is a biological process. Okay. And which is caused by living microorganism and that is not purely chemical. That's why option B is the correct answer. Now we have question 7. The first pure culture of bacterium was obtained by Robert Koch using which technique? So option A is serial dilution in liquid media. Option B is spread plate technique. Option C is solid media using gelatin. And option D is spore plate technique using agar so your correct answer is solid media using gelatin that is option c so coach used gelatin solid medium for isolation and later this gelatin was replaced by agar okay why because gelatin uh, had uh, melting and digestion issues now we have question number eight which of the following scientist is correctly paired with their discovery option a edward jenner germ theory of disease option b Ferdinand Cohn, bacterial endospore. Option C is rabies, uh, Joseph Lister rabies vaccine. And option D is Robert Hooke, gram staining. So, correctly paired is Ferdinand Cohn, that is bacterial uh, endospore. Now, we have what did Jenner discovered? Edward Jenner dis developed the vaccination process. Joseph Lister, antiseptic technique. And Robert Hooke termed the cell coin. Uh, termed the coin uh, termed the cell okay so that is question number eight next we have question number nine which says that which of the following early discoveries provided morphological evidences for microbial life rather than biochemical option a is pastures fermentation studies option b is lewin's hawks animal cules option c is coach anthrax spore staining Option D is Jenner's vaccine. So, your correct answer for this question is option B, that is Leeuwenhoek's animalcule. So, Leeuwenhoek, he provided visual morphological evidence of microorganism. How? By using his microscope. By using his microscope. Now, we have question number 10. If Pasteur's swan neck flask experiment were repeated, but the neck was broken before boiling, the broth would most likely to have what so option a is remain sterile indefinitely option b is undergo slow fermentation but no microbial growth option c is become contaminated and turbid option d is evaporate quickly without microbial contamination so correct answer is option c become contaminated and turbid because airborne microbes can enter the broth and it could cause contamination now, next we have the topic that is landmark discoveries in microbiology. So, the first question in this section is the discovery of penicillin by Alexander Fleming in 1928 marked the beginning of antibiotic era. Which of the following statement best explains its mode of action? So, option A is it inhibits bacterial protein synthesis by binding to the 30S ribosomal unit. Option B is it interferes with peptidoglycan synthesis by inhibiting transpeptidase enzyme. Option C is it disrupts bacterial plasma membrane integrity. And option D is it inhibits nucleic acid synthesis by blocking DNA gyrase. So your correct answer for this is option B. It inhibits bacterial protein synthesis by binding to the 30S. Sorry, sorry. That's option A. It interferes with the peptidoglycan synthesis not with the protein synthesis by inhibiting transpeptidase enzyme next is next question is question 2 in context of molecular biology's origin the hershey stage experiment in 1952 demonstrated that option a is dna not protein is a genetic material in the bacteriophages option b is proteins can act as enzyme Option C is RNA carries hereditary information in all viruses and option D is transformation is mediated by protein. So the correct answer is option A. So he used the radio labeled phosphorus and sulfur, uh, Hershey and Chase and that proved that DNA enters the host cell during the phage infection. Next is question number 3. 
the landmark discoveries of reverse transcriptase by Temin and Baltimore in 1970 challenged which central biological concept easy question i guess option a is dna replication fidelity option b is central dogma that means information is transferred from dna to rna and then proteins are being synthesized option c is semi conservative replication and option d is genetic code universal universality so option b is the correct answer for this question number 4 The development of gram staining technique was crucial in microbial classification. Which of the following cellular features determines whether a bacterium is gram positive or gram negative? So your options for this questions are: Option A is presence of tequoic acid. Option B is presence of outer membrane. Option C is thickness of peptidoglycan layer, and option D is both B and C. So your correct answer for this question is option D. That is both B and C. okay option d so you know that gram positive bacteria have thick peptidoglycan and tequoic acid and gram negative bacteria they have peptidoglycan thin peptidoglycan and an outer membrane next question 5 the discovery of restriction endonuclease enabled recombinant dna technology which feature is characteristic of these enzymes so option a is discovery of restriction endonuclease enabled sorry question number 5 says that the discovery of restriction endonuclease enabled recombinant dna technology which feature is characteristic of these enzymes so the options are so option a is they hydrolyze phosphodiester bonds randomly option b is they recognize specific palindromic palindromic dna sequences and cleave at defined sites option c is they synthesize complementary dna strands and option d is they act only on single stranded dna so the correct answer is option b that is your restriction endonuclease restriction enzyme enzyme especially the eco r1 it recognizes specific palindromic sequence that is g a t t sorry g a a t t c okay and they make double stranded cut forming sticky and blunt ends so if for eco r1 they could ask you the what is the specific palindromic palindromic sequence for eco r1 so it would be g a a t t c okay now next question is question number 6 which of the following discoveries was first direct evidence that microbes cause specific diseases so option a is pasteur's fermentation studies option b is coach demonstration of bacillus anthracis causing anthrax option c is jenner's smallpox vaccination and option d is leuwenhock's observation of microorganisms so correct answer for this question is option b which explains that coach provided experimental proof linking bacillus anthracis to anthrax and that formed the basis for the coach's postulate next question 7 the discovery of crispr cas9 as a gene editing tool originated from the studies of bacterial defense system what is the natural role of crispr cas system in bacteria So option A is DNA replication. Option B is protein secretion. Option C is adaptive immunity against bacteriophage. Option D is antibiotic resistance. So the correct answer for this question is option C. That is adaptive immunity against bacteriophage. Okay. Next is question eight. Which scientist discovery laid the foundation for pure culture techniques in microbiology? Option A is Ferdinand Cohn. option b is robert koch option c is louis pasteur option c is martinus bezonik so you know the correct answer for this question is robert koch now question 9 every macloid and mccarty experiment in 1944 demonstrated the transforming principle in streptococcus pneumoniae what was the key methodological approach option a is use of bacteriophages to inject dna 
यूज ऑफ स्पेसिफिक एंजाइम ट्रीटमेंट्स टू डिस्ट्रॉय डीएनए आरएनए और प्रोटीन ऑप्शन सी वॉज यूज ऑफ रेडियो आइसोटोपिक लेबलिंग ऑप्शन डी इज यूज ऑफ हाइब्रिडाइजेशन विथ कॉम्प्लीमेंट्री डी एन ए स्ट्रैंड सो करेक्ट आंसर फॉर दिस क्वेश्चन इज ऑप्शन बी दैट इज यूज ऑफ स्पेसिफिक एंजाइम ट्रीटमेंट्स टू डिस्ट्रॉय डी एन ए आर एन ए एंड प्रोटीन सो डी एन ए वॉज डाइजेस्टेड विद डी एन एस आर एन ए वॉज डाइजेस्टेड विद आर एन एस एंड प्रोटीज वॉज डाइजेस्टेड सॉरी प्रोटीन वॉज डाइजेस्टेड विद प्रोटी एस ओके नाउ क्वेश्चन नंबर टेन द डेवलपमेंट ऑफ सॉलिड अगार मीडिया बाय फैनी हेस वॉज पेविटल एडवांस इन द माइक्रोबायोलॉजिकल मेथड बिकस अगार ऑप्शन ए अगार एक्ट इज एट एज अ सिलेक्टिव एजेंट अगेंस्ट द कंटेमिनेंट्स ऑप्शन बी इज अगार कुड बी मेटाबोलाइज बाय मोस्ट बैक्टीरिया ऑप्शन सी इज अगार प्रोवाइडेड अ स्टेबल नॉन न्यूट्रिटिव सॉलिडिफाइंग एजेंट रेजिस्टेंट टू बैक्टीरियल डिग्रेडेशन एंड ऑप्शन डी इज अगार लोअर द पी एच प्रिवेंटिंग द माइक्रोबियल ग्रोथ सो द करेक्ट आंसर फॉर दिस क्वेश्चन इज ऑप्शन सी अगार प्रोवाइडेड अ स्टेबल नॉन न्यूट्रिटिव सॉलिडिफाइंग एजेंट रेजिस्टेंट टू बैक्टीरियल डिग्रेडेशन एंड यू नो दैट अगार रिमीन सॉलिड एट इंक्यूबेशन टेम्परेचर एंड इट इज इजिली नॉट डाइजेस्टेड बाय मोस्ट ऑफ द बैक्टीरिया एंड लाइक द जेलेटिन सो दैट वॉज ऑल for the first lecture and you have to go through the questions as well because many important information is given in the questions also so go through it learn it and uh, thank you for watching and if you like the video please if you have learned something from the video like the video share it with your friends and please comment down below for any doubts and queries thank you for watching